Welcome to the phone branding tutorial for mBanking 3.0. In this tutorial, we'll walk through how to download a phone branding template and how to customize background colors for splash screens and icons. We'll also walk through a quick overview of Photoshop and how certain tools can help us accomplish the customization process. To get started, I've navigated to the mFoundry wiki and I've downloaded the phone branding template which is listed under Required Source Assets and Tools on the Branding Guidelines homepage. I've saved the phone branding template to my desktop and I've opened it in Photoshop. So when you open the phone branding template in Photoshop, you'll notice that there are 10 blue screens with a MyBank logo on each one. We've also got a header logo uh, in a retina version and in a standard resolution. You also notice a couple pink boxes and those pink boxes won't show up in the final assets but they'll just help us to align our logo and they're referred to as bounds boxes but we'll talk more about that in a later video. By the time we're finished customizing the phone branding template we'll have something that looks a little more like this. You'll notice that this, the layout is essentially the same but we've changed the background color to this new brand green color and we replaced the MyBank logo with this new logo that's more of a script font. This will be different for each FI that you brand but the concept is the same. To give you a quick overview of Photoshop, we've got a work window here which represents all the graphical elements of the Photoshop file that we're working on. We've also got a, a tool window over here with a list of different Photoshop tools that we can use. For the purposes of branding, we're really only ever going to use the Move tool, which is listed right here at the top. And you can access the Move tool through the keyboard by hitting the shortcut key V. Um, you'll also have the tool menu at the top, which allows you to toggle the settings for the move tool. For the sake of branding, we'll have the auto select turned on, we'll have it set to layer, and we'll have show Transf transform controls toggled to on. The final part of the Photoshop interface is the layers list. And the layers list is a really important part of the phone branding template. You'll notice that we have a folder structure here and each folder is named according to which assets it includes. So for example we have the header logo section here and you'll notice that as I click the header logo list it's represented over here in the work window. We've also got the Android icons and again we see that they're highlighted here and mirrored as we select in the layers list. We've got the iTunes and Google Play icon here, the iPhone icon here, Android splash screens and iPhone splash screens. We've also got an asset labels folder but this only gives us guidelines to tell us which asset we're working on and we won't need to customize those. Now the way that the folders work in the layers list is when you expand a folder you can see subfolders and as we drill down you'll notice that we've gone from selecting both header logos to simply selecting the high resolution or the retina resolution. And as we expand these folders further, we can see that they each include different parts of the asset. One thing to, that's important to remember is that the folders are listed from foreground to background. So that's something that's at the top of the layers list will appear in the foreground and things at the bottom will appear in the background. This is important when we move into positioning our logos in to on top of each splash screen. Uh, one other final point about the layers list is that each folder is named according to what the asset that's exported will be called. So for example, the store icon here is listed in the store icon at 2x.ping folder. Now you don't need to worry about changing the file names because when we export this will automatically create the store icon image with this file name. It's a really convenient, easy way to export the assets. Okay, so that's a quick overview of Photoshop. Now let's get started in changing the background color for each of these assets. We've got Auto Select Layer and Show Transform Controls turned on. So we can really quickly move through this Photoshop template and change the background color for all the splash screens and the icons. The color that I'm going to use for this is this new green color. You may have been given a hex value from the FI that you're customizing and you can use that hex value now to brand the splash screens. 
I've already added this to the Photoshop template and I can grab it from a color picker simply by, by copying it. You may have received it in an email or in some other format, but it's essentially just a hex value and we can paste that into any color picker in Photoshop. Because we've got auto select turned on, whenever we click on one of these background layers, you'll see it highlighted over here in the layers list. And next to the shape, we have a thumbnail that includes the color of the background. It's really important that you click on exactly the right place in the layers list because different areas of the layers list do different things. So for changing the background color, we're going to click on the shape here and then double click on the color thumbnail in the layers list. And you'll see that that brings up a color picker. Down here at the bottom, we see a hexadecimal value and we can just paste in that new green color. You'll notice now that the My Bank Store icon has changed to a green background and the thumbnail on the layers list has also changed. And we're simply going to repeat that process for every other square in the phone branding template. Just click the background, find the thumbnail, double click, Command V, and hit OK. Now to do this really quickly in Photoshop 6, we can also filter the layers list by the type of layer and then change them really quickly without having to look through the specific file structure. You don't have to do this, but it's sometimes convenient. You'll see at the top of the layers list that there's a magnifying glass next to the word kind. And you'll see next to that a row of icons. If you hover over this icon, you can see that it's the shapes filter. And if we toggle that on, you'll notice that our layers list has changed to show us only shapes. Here's one of the shapes that we already changed here. This is the store icon, and we've changed it from blue to green. But we can also see that the other icons are listed here with the blue color. Uh, at the top of the layers list, this little red button has been turned on to show us that we're filtering the list. And you can exit filtering just by clicking that. So let's filter by shape, and then really quickly we can go through the list and change all the background colors for the splash screens and the icons. Just double click and we've already got our green color copied so we'll just paste it right in. As you scroll down you'll see more blue squares from the default template. And you can just paste those in and you're on your way to branding. So now that we've changed all of the different background colors, we'll turn off the filter and the next step in the branding process is to replace the MyBank logo with the new logo.